up? It's Christina and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as you saw in the title, today's video is not going to be very fun and love and that kind of stuff. This is actually a true crime case and I actually love true crime. I just recently got a text message that informed me that this was going on, that there was a TikTok killer around and that, she, and that they were arrested on allegedly stabbing her 19 year old sister, which is really shocking. I mean, she was 14, well, she is. 14 years old so it's really creepy and also make us aware that not even in our houses we are safe we don't really know what's going on on each of our roommates or parents siblings mine and this stuff can happen so first of all who is Claire Miller so I'm going to be checking my notes on a paper and on my computer so yeah we don't really know much about who Claire Miller is because she is a minor so not lots of information has been released to the public yet and also investigations are still going on and this happened recently like this year 2020 at the start of 2020 so it is very fresh so bear with me so she's a 14 year old as i said before she was born in lancaster pennsylvania and people recognize her from the for you page on tiktok after the murder happened since lots of people were going onto her channel and giving her views and followers and likes so tiktok saw that and they were like let's put this channel on lots of other people's for you page because she was gaining followers and stuff like that and that's good for TikTok. Now, who is Helen? Helen is her 19 year old sister. She suffered from cerebral palsy, which had her in a prison, as so to say, in her wheelchair since she couldn't really move, she couldn't really talk because of her condition. So she was very defenseless if there wasn't someone with her the whole time. And it also is believed that her parents set up that irrevocable trust to secure benefits and care for Helen's future in their house. So before all of this happened, Claire Miller's parents, Mark and Mary Miller, bought a home close to a million dollars in 2005 in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. So again, as I said before, we don't have a lot of information, so that's why I can't really go into her life before. There isn't really any articles that explain what her life was before, how she grew up, where she grew up. It is believed that she went to a private high school and she was there for at least like eight years and we know that the parents had lots of money because and for that private school is around $22,000 per year so we know that their parents have lots of money to keep her sister with cerebral palsy and buying all her medications and stuff and also giving their younger daughter a great education in a very expensive high school so in the early hours of February 22nd of 2020 Claire Miller's and Helen Miller's parents were asleep when Claire Miller lost her mind and decided to stop her sister to death I don't really know if the parents heard anything after the murder or during the murder because I mean even though Helen couldn't really talk she could make noises also they could there could have been some fight going on and maybe they heard that maybe Claire was making some kind of noise and after that also Claire was opening and closing doors um, talking with people on the phone not really talking but like texting uh, she was also very stressed she was I probably she was crying because she called the cops are around 1 a.m. kind of and the cop says that she looked very distressed she looked very in other words sad or anxious she didn't really know what was going on I mean yes but she didn't really know what to do afterwards you know what I'm saying so after she called the police and the police came to her house they say that Claire couldn't stop saying I stabbed my sister I stabbed my sister when they came around and it also seemed like she was watching in her hands in the snow I don't know what she wanted to achieve with that I mean she wanted to get the blood out of her hands because I mean she stopped her so obviously she was covered in blood and she was trying to wash it off in the snow I don't really know anyway after that Claire directed them to Helen's room and when they came in they saw a bloody pillow on top of someone's head which at the end it was Helen they took off this bloody pillow and they saw a knife sticking out of her neck close to the chest which was kind of like here I'm guessing or like here kind of the thing is that the knife was in her throat and she obviously wasn't moving there was too much blood there were she was laying on a pool of blood and blood all around her, her chest it was very gruesome so after that she was taken in custody and is now being charged with a criminal homicide so under Pennsylvania's law if you are able to commit a murder a homicide you are eligible to be tried as an adult so she's going
going to be tried as an adult because she was capable of murder. So after TikTok received lots of messages and emails and stuff like that of people telling them that there was this child killer in the platform and they also saw that saw that on news and YouTube channels and all of that stuff, they decided to take down her TikTok account which was called Spirits and Such Consulting. You can find online and on TikTok some accounts that have re-uploaded her old videos. She had some anime videos, some... she looked like a normal girl, like someone you would want to be friends with, someone who was very edgy, who dressed like in alternative style and stuff like that, someone who looked very approachable, so to say. And people were really surprised that that kind of person could do that to another human being. Also, her knowing about true crime and how it ruined people's lives and all of that stuff, she still did it. So anyway, her account was taken down almost immediately for enabling violence. Police also spoke with her parents and students who attended the Lancaster Country Day School, which was her private school, and she was a very friendly person, she was very approachable, as I was saying, and she was actually co-president of her ninth grade class, and she was also an active participant in co curricular activity. So obviously, since this is on the internet, there are lots of conspiracies and reasons of why she may have done this murder and to her sister. So one of the theories I saw and that I believe it maybe is that since her sister had this condition and she was obviously getting lots of attention from her parents, there's a video that shows that she really loved her dad. She literally made a video about her dad and showing off his her dad and also something that's very sad, Helen appeared in that video like for two or three seconds but she was there. So it is believed that she was very jealous of her sister getting lots of attention from her dad so she wanted his attention so that's why she carried out the murder because at the end of the day if you live with someone and if someone murdered a person who was very close to them it is usually premeditated and they thought about it a lot they thought about how they were doing it when they were doing it where they were doing it why they were doing it we still don't have full information from the police force but that's a theory another theory that i saw on another youtube channel which i right now cannot remember which one it was but they said that they saw a comment which said that maybe she saw that her sister was making their parents lose a lot of money not because the medication wasn't working but she had she needed the medications and obviously they were not cheap and also she was taking lots of time with them so maybe she thought that if she wasn't there their parents were going to be better but I don't know why she believed that murder was the answer I don't really believe that story that conspiracy I believe the first one more but another thing that really makes me wonder why is that a friend of hers decided to talk to the police and tell them that they were talking with her on the night of the murder and she had lots of suicidal thoughts so maybe it was a fair of the moment thing but at the end of the day it's her sister and she lived with her sister so that's why it's a little confusing of why would she killed her I don't know it just doesn't really make sense and if you see on her TikTok account well it's not up anymore but her videos went back and forth on video games and violence and violence on anime she really loved anime like three out of four videos of her were anime or more but she was very into violent stuff and gory stuff and that kind of stuff which at the time it obviously may not seem like a red flag because for example I like that stuff too but I know I'm not capable of doing that stuff I'm also no not posting about that too so I don't really know what was going on her head maybe she had also a mental illness or maybe because I don't think that anyone who can do murder is sane on their mind there must be something wrong because if there wasn't some if there weren't something wrong that lots of people will do that and I mean more of the people who do you know so right now she is in police custody she is being tried for criminal homicide as I said before and maybe if we get more information I'll do a follow-up video on this one I don't know if this video is going to be long or short I think it's going to be very short I'm so sorry but I wanted to cover this because it hit very home to me not because my sister is disabled because she's not but she was someone on TikTok that when I researched I it was kind of this feeling that I wanted to be friends with her because she looked very friendly very approachable and obviously knowing that she's a murderer not anymore but she also has kind of my style kind 
kind of so she looks very young and that's kind of stuff so it is a little bit weird and confusing in my head so yeah so that was it for today's video thank you so much for watching if you like this video please comment down below like comment and subscribe to my channel all my social media is going to be linked down below and if you text me i'll text you back because i'm that kind of bitch and see you in my next video peace